Hi guys, in this episode of Ray Decay, I'm gonna be finishing off my reaction to G Idol's uh, recently released album, I Never Die. So far, the songs have been definitely high quality, but all of the songs so far have seemed to have certain nitpick about them that has just bothered me. I don't know if that's because genuinely the songs have those nitpicks, or maybe it's because I'm recording this as usual, very late, so I'm a little tired, or maybe because I'm kind of burned out from K-pop releases because I've been recording so many uh, K-pop reactions in the past couple of weeks, even with breaks in between, that I've gathered up like 80 plus videos that I've uh, recorded, but I'm yet to edit or upload. But yeah, I just have had some issues with all these songs. I just uh, haven't really been completely satisfied with any song. But again, we're just halfway through the album. So we still have four more songs to check out and see if I'm actually gonna like one of those more. With those four songs being Polaroid, Escape, Liar and My Bag. And I already have uh, expectations that I'm gonna like My Bag because I've inadvertently heard a little bit of it um, when I just saw shorts on the internet, short videos of uh, Soyeon performing it. So I kind of already know what I'm going to be getting into when it comes to that song, but that is the last song of, of the album, so it's going to be a little bit before we get to that. But now, uh, without further ado, let's get into Polaroid and hopefully enjoy it quite a lot. Uh, hopefully it's not going to have any issues that I would be bothered by, but probably will. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into it in 3, 2, 1. Indeed it does. I really like the lyrics so far. Man, in the beginning of the song I was like this reminds me of Life is Strange and now I realize that the lyrics are actually very, very reminiscent of Life is Strange. This could be a really good song to make a, like a compilation video of really cool Life is Strange moments. So I hope somebody does that and credits me for the idea. I'm just too lazy to do it, especially because I won't make anything out of it. Because the song is obviously copyrighted. I don't like the chorus. And I love how I just like that created a personal attachment to this song just by uh, uh, connecting it with Life is Strange even though it has no connection, int intentional connection whatsoever Yeah, as much as I want to love this song and want to listen to it after this, it is very much like a slow, uh, I wouldn't say a ballad, but it's a slow uh, and emotional kind of song. And I don't really think I'm going to listen to it because th those are not the kind of K-pop songs that I just listen to the most, you know. But I definitely appreciate what they're doing with this song for sure. And this is also the first song of this album so far, obviously outside of the title track, that I actually feel like it has no bad parts. Ok, 
okay. At least this one is the longest so far. But yeah, I like this. I definitely do. But like, again, like I said, I'm probably not gonna listen to it just because it's a very slow song. And because I tend to listen to K-pop songs mostly whenever I'm traveling somewhere with my car, whether it's uh, to another city or wherever I'm just going for groceries. Um, I tend to listen, want to listen to mostly energetic and high uh, kind of songs. But well, these songs are mostly relegated to like whenever I'm feeling sad or depressed and since I don't really feel like that nowadays, not much at least, uh, I just don't really have time to listen to these kind of songs, so they tend to get uh, overlooked. But I still really, really appreciate what they were doing with this song. And like I said, this is definitely the best one so far in terms of having a cool idea, doing it justice and having it appeal to me. And I think big reason why it actually ended up appealing to me is, like, again, because I made that connection to Life is Strange. But again, the lyrics also very much felt like they could work for Life is Strange, so there's that. But because I think they actually nailed this really well, I honestly want to give this one a 10 out of 10. Not like a mind-blowing 10 out of 10, but 10 out of 10 nonetheless, because I think they had an idea, they nailed it with no issue whatsoever. It's just that the idea was done on like a song that I... Uh, don't listen to most of the time, even though I still like them, you know. But again, I do like the chorus of this song, so maybe not the whole hope is lost. It just have we have to see how much I actually end up listening to these songs after this, because I say many things in my reactions, but I don't always end up uh, following through with my statements in, in this reaction. Like sometimes I might say, oh, I'm gonna listen to this song and I've never listened to it and I completely for forget it exists. Or I say, oh, I'm not gonna listen to it, I don't like it. And then I end up loving it so much more than I could have ever loved it in the reaction. So you never know, but for the most part, I do stick to my opinions. But yeah, pretty good start for the second half of this album for sure. So now I'm more excited for the next three songs. So without further ado, Let's get into the next song, Escape in 3, 2, 1. The sky, what do you see? definitely much more Western influence than I expected. Though again, I want to say, I've definitely not really gotten as good of a song in this besides as the B-sides in their original debut album. Again, I like the vibe of this song a lot. And again though, it's because I'm imagining it with Life is Strange. <laughs> I guess that's just what I should do for every single song in cable, to love them, you know? like this rapping. Yeah, this definitely kind of feels like a better version or more appealing version of Polaroid. Because it's a very similar sad, like, melancholic vibe that I'm getting from the song. But this one is at least a little bit more energetic, so I'm actually more able to enjoy it because of that. But it's still not as energetic as I wish it was. I 
Although again, I want to say there's definitely been a shift in the vibes of the songs uh, for the second half of this album. appreciated the song a little more if it was in English because this is exactly my shit when it comes to English songs you know conflicted about this song like I said I feel like in a way this is definitely a little bit more enjoyable to me uh, compared to Polaroid because I feel like there's a bigger opportunity for me to actually listen to this song outside of this reaction compared to Polaroid because this is a little bit more faster paced and energetic compared to Polaroid but I don't think it's as good as Polaroid I feel like Polaroid felt a little bit more finished and polished not because this song has any weak parts or anything it actually doesn't just like Polaroid but it just, I don't know, Polaroid just felt more like a 10 out of 10, while this song doesn't. Though, again, I actually like the rap art in this song, and I do like the vibe of this song, just like I do for Polaroid, but... I don't know, this one just feels a little weaker. And I honestly can't really put it in exact words why, but it just does. So, in terms of a rating, I am gonna give this one still a pretty high score of a 9.6 out of 10. But it is a little weaker for compared to Polaroid, but at the same time, it is a little stronger because I, 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 I want to replay it more. But yeah, again, I'm a little conflicted also for the fact that for the first three songs of this album, Never Stop Me, Villain Dies, and Already, those felt at least closer to the title track of the, or the vibe of the title track. Like, it felt a little bit more warmer and more, uh, I don't know what's the word for it, like, more full of bass uh, compared to these two songs which feel more colder and more uh, empty of that kind of stuff so that is a very interesting change I'm curious whether that's gonna continue but yeah I don't know and the thing that conflicts me about these uh, songs is just that I don't know which thing I prefer because like I said for the first three songs I had issues for all three of them but I liked how they felt like tarot tracks and how uh, they were all pretty energetic for the most part. But then these two songs, Polaroid and Escape, I've given them higher ratings. They felt more like complete songs, but at the same time, they haven't been as energetic. So, I don't know. Still, we have two more songs, so let's see what those two songs are going to be like uh, and whether they're going to be closer to Polaroid and Escape or to the other three. So without further ado, let's get into Liar in 3, 2, 1. Man, she was sing so differently in there besides. Okay, this is more like what I was expecting to get in the besides. Yeah, I'm noticing that Yuki loves singing a lot in English. I guess that explains why uh, both Giant and Bonnie and Clyde were in English. Yeah. 
그 놈의 예의 뒷담보다 낙담이 난넌 없겠지만 패기 네 다음에 인간다 안 된다 애기 취급 전에 맞춤법이나 맞춰 안돼 아이 영 and again, with this rap part though, uh, similarly to one of those other songs, I don't know which one it was, I think it was uh, Polaroid. The fact that Seon doesn't go with the beat of the song just bothers me. I know that's a rap style, but I don't like that rap style, you know? And I love Yuki's voice. Hell, even Miyong when she when she sung like that was so good. But I swear, I can listen to anything that Yuki sings. I love her so much. Okay, this is another short one, I guess, and I know that the last one is gonna be another short one as well, so that's gonna be an issue. But yeah, it seems like we are starting a third vibe in this album, which kind of now, in retrospect, seems kind of all over the place. Um, but yeah, interesting. This is definitely more along the lines of what I expected the B-sides to actually sound like compared to what we actually got. Um, and hell, I, I would even say that maybe we even have... Uh, four completely different vibes in this album because I feel like Never Stop Me sounded quite a lot like Tomboy in its vibe at least. Then Villain Dies and already sounded close to closer to each other. Uh, Polaroid and Escape sounded close to each other, and I already have heard a little bit of My Back, so I I I, I think it's fair to say uh, safe to say that Liar and My Back also feel like not that far off from each other. So uh, it's interesting that I have all f these four different vibes in this album. Usually I personally prefer when an album sticks with one vibe, which is almost never the case, but I digress. But yeah, um, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just conflicted, man. All these songs are not necessarily bad, they don't necessarily have bad ideas, I just don't think the final product really is what I wish it was, you know? I feel like there is a version of the all these songs that I could have enjoyed really a lot and had no issues with any of them, but we didn't really get that. We got a version of them that is very, very flawed. And while like on paper, I like the vibe of this song, I like the chorus, and I definitely really genuinely like uh, Yuki's parts, I don't really like this song as a whole because Soyeon's part, again, like I said, does not entertain me because of that specific style of rapping that she has picked for this song where she goes against the beat instead of with the beat it's not something that I like so in no way am I ever gonna like it but then outside of that rap part I don't think the song really can carry itself on its own and if you remove it it just feels incomplete so you can't remove it and there, there's also the fact that this song is like 2 and 50 Barely. It's barely 2 minutes and 50 seconds. So, yeah. I don't know. Overall, I think it's definitely one of the better ones, though. And the, one of the ones that I actually want to listen to. So, there's that as well. But in terms of a rating uh, for this one, I am going to go with like an 8.7 out of 10. I know I'm still giving a lot of these songs... Like, I'm giving a lot of these songs a lot of shit. But I'm also rating them high, so don't misunderstand my issue or my botherness uh, about these songs flaws as if I'm hating them. I'm not. Like I said, I feel like after I actually listen to them without any pressure to judge them properly in, in like a video, I'm probably gonna end up liking them much more. But as it stands, uh, this is how I feel about them. They're definitely uh, good songs on paper, but in execution, I feel like 
they didn't do what they should have done for me to like them. And they don't necessarily have to. I don't have to like every song, not every song has to appeal to me. But this is ultimately a video series in which I sh share my personal thoughts, so... Yeah, I don't know. Let's get into the final song of this album, though. My back. Hopefully I'm actually gonna enjoy this one a lot, because from the parts that I've heard about it, it did sound good, it did sound like what I wanted to hear from this album, so I'm really excited about it. But without further ado, let's get into it and see how I actually end up uh, feeling about this song in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, this is what I like. Are me and Yuki both kind of rapping, or is that just me? I mean, to be honest, Yuki's voice is very, very perfect for rapping, so I'm not complaining. Especially because I love Yuki. I love rappers in K-pop for the most part. So definitely sign me up for this. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be listening to this one uh, a second time. And definitely I'll be listening to it outside of the reactions for sure, I can guarantee you that. Is Shahua even ra rapping? What the hell is happening in this song? Can we get more of it, please? Like with the beat that they're using, it does make it sound like everybody's rapping in this song. Okay, she's definitely rapping here. I feel like you can even see it in my face how much more I enjoy it compared to the other ones. Which, again, I don't think they're bad, but this one is just so entertaining without any caveats. Okay, we're definitely listening to this one a second time. But yeah, I'm definitely tired. That is definitely affecting my judgment for these songs. But this song is just so inherently entertaining that the fact that I'm tired completely disappeared from from my brain. Like I was already kind of starting to lose uh, focus and I am very sleepy at the moment. But this song just brought me back to life. I feel like that's very noticeable even in my reaction. So it just goes to show how entertaining this song is. And I love the beat. I love the rapping by Soyon alone. And then there's everybody else also rapping? Hells to the yeah! I really like this song. I really, really do. Like, this one might actually get a genuine 10 out of 10 for me. And I just want to listen to this song a second time. I don't even need to. I will just listen to it because of how good it is. So, let's get into it again in 3, 2, 1. That oh, oh reminds me of some other of, of their songs, but I don't remember which one it was exactly. Was it from Latata? 
funny if it is, because Latata's album is my favorite of G Idols so far. I'm play I'm gonna play the shit out of this song. This is by far my favorite song of this album. Outside of the title track. This is good. This is my shit, man. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I really have anything else to add to this. I love the fact that all of them are rapping in this song. I love the vibe of the song. I love the beat of the song. It's it's just a masterpiece. The only way it could be better if it was longer. But we don't really get that. Do we? But yeah, um, in terms of a rating, it's 11 out of 10. It's really good. It's really good. It's 11 out of 10 compared to Tomboy's 12 out of 10, if you ask me how I would rate it right now. So yeah, it's a really, really good one. And it is kind of sad and annoying uh, that one song out of this whole album was like a genuine instant hit with me even though like I still like uh, at least a couple and I'll probably listen to at least a couple outside of this song but it is annoying that only one of them genuinely entertained me right off the bat without any caveats but it is what it is you win some you lose some sometimes only one song is good but that is also why I react to albums even if they are uh, even if like Five, uh, uh, six out of the seven songs of this album were not really up to part of what I wanted from this album. The fact that we got at least one is worthy enough. Is worth it enough for me to uh, check out those six songs that I didn't like. But again, I'm curious. What do you guys think about these songs? Do you have uh, issues with what I said about them? Do you disagree with me? Feel free to comment your thoughts down below, and let's have a discussion about it. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently three pages on Patreon: Omar Bridgman, Deadpool, and Shenches. Thank you guys for your support. I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me. If you have decided to support me, if you have continued to support me for such a long time, hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. Another thing that I also want to tell you guys before we end this video is something about me that some of you may or may not know. That will also explain why do I look and dress the way that I do. That being the fact that I am trans. In particular, I am somewhere between a non-binary person and a trans woman. I'm not quite sure at the moment and probably won't be sure until I talk to a professional who deals with trans people, but that is where the reason why I'm telling you all this comes. I need your help. Due to the fact that I live in a homophobic and transphobic Eastern European country with a family that won't really accept the fact that I'm trans if they found out there is not really a feasible or easy way for me to transition here with minimal repercussions. So that's why I would really, really appreciate any kind or any amount of support that you guys can give me with this. That said, I don't want to guilt trip you or anything, so if you don't want to or you don't have the means to help out, 
that's fine. Don't feel bad. I just want you to know that it would be greatly appreciated if you did help me out get out of this situation. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and thank you for hearing me out. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, also check out the link in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me over there into my Wattpad or post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my Coffee account where you can pledge your support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with someone who you think might enjoy it. And I think that's pretty much it for, for this video. So hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.